we auditioned uh, at the same casting office, but just via Skype. And then um, got into the house, and we all had our separate rooms. And most of our interaction and how we actually got to know each other as a cast was via Skype. It was definitely a challenge just to hear people. And um, but I mean, that's what the film is about. It's about that um, that that online connection. Um, but uh, we definitely hit a hit a rhythm and figured out how to work in that style. That's how the the idea for the movie was made. Timor, the producer. Um... He, he basically lives on the internet. He lives on Skype. He can basically direct two movies at once. He's in Russia on set and then Skyping into other projects and, and giving notes. Um, so he had this idea of, of creating a, a movie that takes place on Skype. And then he and Nelson decided to add the element of horror, which gave them their, their story. And uh, we're just really happy to be part of it. I really think it's... The first, it is the first of its kind. It really is a new genre of horror as well. And um, I don't think we as actors will ever be able to be a part of an, an experience like this because it was so new, so fresh, and that's really what drew us to the project. I've been like so interested to hear someone's experience who's seen it on a computer, because when I saw it, I was like, it's so interactive to begin with, but to actually see it on a computer, you must constantly be like reaching for your mouse the whole time, right? Constantly. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's like crazy. Crazy. behind your shoulder. I mean, it's such it does it's such an immersive experience. It really seeing. adds to the fear. Yeah. yeah, and it's it's uh, it's interfaces that we're all so comfortable with, and we use every single day, from you know clicking over to Spotify or, or to Facebook and. Um, I think that's what you really connect with, and you, it's like it's like a, almost like a, like a video game, like a first-person shooter, where you're you're experiencing it. You can't be a passive audience member watching this. Like we said earlier too, it's just like the way your viewing experience of this movie is so cool and interesting and fresh. It's going to be unlike any other movie you've seen, and it's going to be different from the person sitting next to you because it views like a play and you choose what you want to watch you know you have a choice to watch moses or you have a choice to watch shelly depending on whatever <laughs> catches your eye that's it that's that's hopefully it's me what drew us all to the project was obviously timor is, is an innovator and we're all fans of his work and then just you know seeing the idea and none of us were expecting it to get this large or fans have such a yeah such a extreme reaction to it a positive um, so we just kind of got on board because we all wanted to to you know see if this movie was, was possible and to work in the style. I had this weird feeling from the beginning, and I'm usually wrong, but for once I can say I was on the right side and thinking that there was something special about this project. We all thought there was something special about the project, but I had a good feeling that it, people were going to see it. I didn't know who, I didn't know how, but I definitely knew that it was something to be proud of um, and even though it was a trial and error process, there was still that core, whether it was just Timor, Nelson, and Leo, and then working with an amazing cast that John McGillary, you know, put together. Um, I, I don't know. It was probably all of that um, put together, but I, I've, I've had high hopes for this film, and I still do. And the fact that we're even just sitting here interviewing today tells me that you know people are going to see it uh and i'm just really happy that people can see something that's so new and fresh and a story that's being told in such a unique way yeah i think so we're all just super excited to be a part of something so new and new way of filmmaking so oh yeah <laughs>